In the platform analytics experience we have two ways to build your dashboard. So whenever you are consuming a dashboard, most likely it is built through the simple way, the inline editor dashboard. But it could also be it was built through the platform's UI builder. Now why do we have those two approaches? In most, if not all use cases, the easy-to-use inline editor is your dashboard builder of choice. It's targeted at the everyday dashboard builder. That user that just wants to quickly create or edit a dashboard. It has the drag and drop and resizing capability and a quick way to drop in new widgets for you to start configuring. Target user persona here is basically everyone, unless you would have a very specific use case you might need some UI builder type of configuration for. To re-emphasize, the inline editor should be your dashboard builder of choice. If you want a quick and easy way for dashboard configuration, or expect others to maybe modify it, you should default into this easy-to-use dashboard editor. Whether you are using the technical dashboard or the simple inline editor dashboards, both are in the same dashboard dropdown so they can be easily found. For your end users that experience is the same so they might not know whether they are looking at an inline edited dashboard or a technical one. With the technical dashboard you would have technically all types of features and capabilities you would also have with the UI builder application inside our platform. You can use more types of components. Maybe set some very specific data binding or event handling you would like to add to your dashboard UI. Do know that you would need citizen developer type of skills required to be configuring that more technical approach. Only if you are an admin user you will see a similar screen when creating a new dashboard. Any other user will not get this pop-up and will be automatically navigated into the simple inline editor. So upon choosing the inline editor, this will bring you to the editor UI showing the user an empty screen where they can start adding content. This can be components you add and configure from scratch or maybe existing content from your library. The user can use the easy drag and drop to build their dashboard experience. This is the same experience as people might be familiar with by using the responsive dashboards in the core UI. It is a very feature-rich dashboard building and is said before really targeted for the everyday dashboard builder. Simple to use, simple to configure, and also user-friendly for anyone you might be sharing the dashboard with. As mentioned, admins will have another option to build a dashboard UI that is technically built through our platform's UI builder application. This does come with the effect that it's more targeted to developer type of builders to create it and absolutely not suitable for the everyday dashboard builder. The benefit of using this one is that it will allow you as the builder all the capabilities the UI builder has. For example, around specific data needs, or event handling, or scripting. Once you created the placeholder you can immediately see that this technical dashboard is available the same way as your other dashboards. The big benefit of that is that for your dashboard consumers will just see it as a regular dashboard. This dashboard dropdown easily allows to navigate in between dashboards. But the actual technique behind the dashboard might differ. If we start editing the just created technical dashboard it will literally bring us to the UI builder application. From there you then have all the capabilities that the UI builder has for their normal UI page creation purposes. You see the UI builder application with the UI page layout on the left and the configuration on the right. From here you can use those more advanced capabilities within the data binding and page scripting or set some specific event for UI component interaction. It also allows you as the more advanced builder to start building a dashboard UI layout using all components from the library including the data visualization and filter components. Once done, you can save the page and it will appear as a UI builder created page within your dashboard application. Remember, only use this when you need those specific requirements that the normal inline editor dashboard wouldn't be able to do.